Well, welcome. Today's lesson is how to use the Web Soil Survey that's in the NRCS uh, website. Uh, so uh, today what I'd like to do is I'd like to just kind of get started in having you define as well as you and explore this particular uh, website. And uh, through that, you should be able to get a lot of information about, for instance, some of the, your own SEER surveys you're going to be doing. As you know that we, you have to do 10 soil profiles and this particular tool will ha help you out immensely. You can customize reports as far as the usage of the soil as well as uh, the profile and what it means in terms of the different kinds of uses this land might have. So let's go ahead and get into it. To get started, all you'll need to do is press this great big green button that says Start WSS. All right, to, to define your search, um, you can go ahead and just uh, click and drag a like a rectangle or a square. Uh, but an easier way is just to click on address and then put your address in and then click view. And once you do that, it goes right to that. If you've done it right, make sure you have your state, your city, your uh, zip code, and of course the street address and that will help you out immensely. Now I could also just draw a rectangle on here as well but I want to be a little bit more precise so I'm going to use a polygon tool. It's located right over here and remember AOI means area of interest. So I'm going to click on that pentagon or a polygon and we're going to click it here and then there and then you're just going to click around the field that you want to do a little work on and there we go. And you double click it and now it's going to create this area of interest map for you. Now with that map, it's going to give you a variety of different looks. So first of all, you'll notice that it has already selected it with these little hashtags. So I'm going to click on soil map because that's the first thing I want to do. And what it'll give me is the soil series of uh, of the soils that are in that area of interest. And you can see on the left hand side, it tells me it's um, Pescadero, silt clay, a, a, a kind of a, a saline slash alkali soil, and then has a little bit of yellow silty loam. And you can just click on those, and then you can get a, a, an actual map description of it. So this unit map description tells you things like the profile, also tells you a little bit about um, how it's formed, uh, those kind of uh, soils get formed. So it's, it's really helpful. The other thing too is it gives you right here, uh, the soil series abbreviation so you can see right where those particular soils are now what you can do uh, at this particular point in time you can also um, go ahead and you can just go ahead and add we're adding that particular report to our customizable report so we went to the soil map we got our, our, our soil series uh, outlined and then once I get the soil information I can put it in the shopping cart now I'm going to go also click Soil Data Explorer. What this allows us to do is take a look at how usable the soil is. We get an opportunity to see some of its limitations as well as its, its suitabilities as far as construction or agriculture or what have you. So for instance, if we click on Vegetative uh, Productivity, you can see like for instance the yields. We're going to go click on that and it doesn't show anything so yields of irrigated okay it doesn't show much because it really hasn't been used uh, for very many things but let's take a look at the site development for instance if we want to put a basement in um, it's it's going to show us a little bit about there there's what it what it is how it performs and also how it's described so if you want that report in there you can put it also in the shopping cart but I'm not going to do that and then uh, we take a look at here's some of the the, the um, soil data you can put that in the shopping cart as well and land classification is what I want to look at I want the story index and what it'll do for me is I can put that I want definitely that in the report as well so I'm going to download all of those things so we're going to go ahead and click on that and we want to check out and we want to do it right now so I'm going to press OK now you have to turn off on this you're going to have to turn off your pop-up uh, blockers so that happens and now what I've got is now I've got a report um, that has to do with 
First of all, it has a sum map, what I'm in, what I'm doing, what the legend is. It also gives me a variety of, of different uh, uh, descriptions. Pescadero, as well as yellow silk clay loams. Uh, and also gives me a little bit about its uh, profile, soil profile, for both of them. And uh, there you have it. Um, so you've created this, um, not only the map, but also created a custom report just for the things that you want. So the only way you can really get used to this kind of, of uh, website is to use it. So I'll see you in your lab. Bye.